Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about type test operators in dart programming so there are two type test operators over here one is is and another one is not so the importance of both these operators is to check what is the type of a particular variable so let us understand this with the help of examples over here let's say we have a variable a and the value is 10 now we want to check what is the data type of this variable a so what we will do is we will i will just print a statement and let's say we want to put whether the value of a is int so we will ask a is int question mark and then followed by hyphen and what we want to do is we want to check what is the value of a let's say we assume the data type of a is int over here so what we are going to do is as i have told you that inside these double quotes we have to use a dollar sign in order to print a particular value of a variable so let's say we put a dollar sign and we are going to use a operator which is is operator over here as i have explained you this is operator we are going to check and it is going to return a true or false now how it is going to return this value so we are going to use these curly braces and inside these curly braces we are going to ask whether a is int so as you can see a is nothing but this is the variable over here and this is nothing but this is a operator and then what we are going to do is we are asking this is operator whether the value of this variable is a integer value or not i'll save this file and run this code so as you can see a is int this is nothing but this is a string that we have put in the print statement and then it is written a value as true now to make it more simple i'll just put a print statement over here so i'll just comment this statement i'll put print a is int so what we are doing guys over here is we are just asking whether this particular variable that is a is int or not so let's save this file and run this code so as you can see it is returning true which means yes the value of a is int over here we can do other things as well instead of int we have another data type as double so i have explained you in the previous videos as well the data types which you can check in the playlist the link i have given in the description already so i'll run this code so as you can see it is returning false why it is returning false because we have asked whether a is double so no the value of a is 10 which is not a double value it is an integer value so this statement will return false now what if i put over here 10.2 now this becomes a double value i'll save this and run this code and hence it returns a true value over here and what i had done over here is i'm just printing that whether a is int or a is double so in order to do that we put double quotes a is double so we are asking for a question mark and then hyphen and then in order to print this that is a is double we put a dollar sign and then enclose this within the curly braces and then we'll close the double quotes i'll save this file and run this code so it is checking whether a is double and then hyphen it is returning a true value if it is not double let's say i put it as 10 so it will check a is double so it is returning false another operator that we can use is is not so the second operator that i told you it is just the opposite of is operator so what we are going to do over here is we will change this operator to is not and then we will change this print statement to a is not double let's save this and run this code so a is not double yes it is not double and it is printing it as true now let us check whether it is a string or not so in case of string we just put it as string and then we ask for a is string and then we put a is string over here so is a a string so it is returning it as false and what if we change the value over here to string so let's say programming for beginners which is the name of this youtube channel which you should obviously subscribe so i'll save this and run this code 
So as you can see, A is string, it is returning yes, it is a string and it is returning true. And in this way, you can use is operator and is not operator as well. So guys, that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get notifications for upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is assignment operators in Dart programming. So stay tuned.